Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill again and today I am going to start the adventures of Sally, the human level 1 thief who is actually way too much of a weakling usually to survive an adventurer's life very long. Well, it seems that the challenge of this game, which I was not really sure of yesterday, really is to uh, win the game or play as long and as uh, good as possible with uh, this uh, randomly rolled Friday 13th character. So this is what I'm going to do. And in this first episode, we are going to be very, very, very careful because our character has very low hit points, he has bad equipment, he's got low strength, he's very bad all in all and he can die so quickly from almost everything that he meets so we have to be really really careful uh, problem is that we have got neither healing nor herbalism so we have to choose which one we want to get from a special quest and I think hmm, healing would be more important for very early game survival and very early game survival will be the most difficult task. On the other hand, we have got just 11 hit points. Maybe they would heal rather quickly also without healing. Anyway, I will go for healing because that's just uh, the talent which gives us an earlier boost and that's definitely what we need. So let's accept all those quests we can get here. So what we want is the healing quest, which we get from the village elder here. We do definitely not want your quest, Tuvat Pare, but we want to find a certain little girl, wherever she might be. That's a farmer, yeah. Is, is that her? Yeah, the tiny girl. Here she is. And she runs away. Stop, tiny girl. Here. Has to seem a little loggy. So that's the quest that we want for the beginning. Now, first thing we're going to do is pay a little visit to the small cave. Okay, here we are. Just to generate some level one monsters, we do not yet want to uh, dive into the next level. So, oh, that was not good. Anyway, next we are going to take a short look at the shop as long as this guy is not hostile no he's not good is this guy hostile he is so we retreat do not want to mess with these guys with this character so then our first aim is going to be oh oh no that could easily kill us if we are not able to outrun them we are nice then let's go for the village dungeon. That's a rather easy dungeon and uh, let's see if we can make some levels, maybe get even some points of protection value, which would be lovely, or uh, do whatever else we can do in order to get a little stronger. Definitely we are going to equip one of those daggers as a throwing weapon. Uh, this is going to be the first guy that we will kill. Uh, host uh, goblin. Throw the dagger and ah, we hit him. Nice. Equip the other dagger. So, and now change to the dagger with a better to hit value. We really have to use whatever opportunity we get. There is a tension room in this level. I'm not really sure if I already want to open it because we could die to almost everybody. We are the most weakling character that I've played in a long time. Okay, missed him. He throws a rock at us. Ouch. Dagger. And throw another knife. Ah, missed him again. Take the rock. Doesn't really work very well. So, in fight. Uh, normal tactics. Ouch. Oh, come on. Slightly injured. Oh no, retreat. We could, if we are not lucky, die right now. If this guy hits us with a rock. Uh, ouch. Come on, get away, get away, get away, get away. 
retreating from a goblin. Fuck. There he comes. But we have to kill him. If we cannot kill this goblin, we can kill nothing. So let's wait for him down here. If he hits us one more time. Let's try to regenerate some hit points at first. I want to see our turn counter while we play. Yeah. Okay, he stays behind the door, that's good. So we can maybe regenerate a little. We get hungry. Oh no, we have got not very much to eat. Now we will kill you. Come on, goblin. Uh, I know what we will do from the from the next fight on. True berserking is the way to go. Put out our uh, away our our armor. Oh no 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 no! Not naked. We need a weapon. Our horrible short sword. But true berserking, we can at least really hurt this guy. Out. Uh, no, come, kill him. Yeah, nice. Whew. Pick up all these rocks that he threw at us. Thrown daggers. Eight rocks. Nice. Eat his corpse. Then we will wear our armor again because now we are going to be a missile guy, which is definitely what I wanted to do. is a exciting beginning. What was that? You've got a good feeling about this rock. Nice. This rock might save our lives. Uh, so we have to open this door in order to progress further. And there we have got a large bat. Try to kill this bat? Oh no, I should have stayed in true berserker mode. A bat is really dangerous. Oh, uh, it hit us, but we hit it too. Seven hit points. Severely damaged. Oh, and it's dead, and we made one level. <laughs> nice. Definitely increase alertness. Also increase food preservation, because I want corpses. And we've got two more increases, because our learning is at 15. One of the few advantages of our character. Detect traps might save lives. And we definitely, definitely want to increase our first aid skill. Because if we have so... Oh, and we directly increased our strength by one. That's nice, but it is still horribly low. And you see, we got some hit points which are very much appreciated. Now our maximum hit points are 18. Oh god, and that's a bad room. Uh, what do we do here? Can we outrun this bat? Can we even do it? 101 speed. We have got a speed of 101. No, we cannot outrun it. Uh, true berserking is too hard against so many of them. They are already too close to throw stuff at them. Maybe tr first try it this way. Missed. It hits us, 12 hit points. Slightly wounded, nice. Moderately wounded. We already have got at least two prayers. Ouch! Ouch! This is the right time to retreat. We are definitely not strong enough to deal with these bats. Okay, very nice. We might rather visit the infinite dungeon for some easy, easy enemy killing. For example, this rat, that's kind of enemy that we want to face right now. <laughs> Man, this is a horrible character. Here are the downstairs, but we're not yet going to use them. Oh, I should rather use the detect traps talent. Uh, I don't know, no, can you use it actively? Don't think so, but search for traps in front of every door. Food will be important that we find some. No, 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 not yet. At first, 
search, 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 search. Come on, can you use detect traps? Ah, don't find any traps, nice. That's what we're going to do. Use detect traps on every door. What we are not going to do, because I just hate it, is uh, stair hopping. That's a um, tactic that I would never ever use. I'm just going to to uh, walk the first level and second level, explore them. Oh, enemy! Oh no, we cannot throw that far. So that hit, nice. And he's dead. Level 3. Great. Continue to improve alertness. Continue with detect traps. Um, we might also want to increase our literacy a little further. And what else? Hmm. It might become handy to be a little better at swimming so and we get our next talent do we directly go for treasure hunter or do we need something else on the way I think it might be a good idea to choose something to improve our speed at first so we take the quick talent because uh, treasure hunter does not help us a little bit if we are not able to outrun those many many enemies who are stronger than us. A flute might be sold. Okay, we do not go into the dark room, rather use the upstairs again. No traps here. Uh-huh. And there is a trap on this door. We're not going to open it, because it might kill us. And there is also a trap. Rather do this level. Earthling bread, and we directly eat the raw meat before it decays. A tome, two packed, we are no spellcaster, so that does not really help us, but ouch. <coughs> Some rocks, we eat this corpse too. No traps. No traps. It is locked, but I think we can kick it. Checked it for traps several times. Oh, a jackal. Let's see how we do against this jackal. Slightly wounded. Severely wounded. Slain. Nice. <sighs> I really hope that we will be able oh wait. To find maybe a piece of armor down here or something like that. Oh, we're bleeding. That's not good. Kill this guy. Oh, no, 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 not good. He's not bleeding anymore, at least. Goblin Slave Master. This guy is stronger than he looks. What do we have? Uh, are we not str quick enough? No, we are not. Uh. Oh, no, we are. Bye, fucker. Man. Already hate you, Sally. <laughs> what are you doing to me? If we now step on uh, whatever trap there might be, it would directly kill us. Oh, and the rat hits us. I'm afraid of a rat. I cannot stand it, that's so horrible. But at least we killed it and we eat it. So. Bugbear is too dangerous, we're not going to fight the bugbear. And it's faster than us. We have to fight it. Fuck. Come, hit it. No, we did not, of course. Hmm. If it hits us, we can maybe change the level. 
maybe we will use a prayer to kill this guy. It hits us. Maybe now we are s fast enough. Yeah, now we are. Nice. Retreat. Oh no. <sighs> we need the extra speed in order to outrun those guys. Is he not hostile? He is not. Okay, nice. Uh, get away here. Dark room, direct leaf. Uh, what do we have here? A round key. I think we will stay in true berserker mode for the m time to come because. Oh, that was. There. Because uh, that's just our only way to harm those enemies. Oh no, oh no, and we are sick. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, uh, so level four, nice. <sighs> Man, detect traps, food preservation. Mm. Literacy. And one more on Okay. Okay. Muscles feel stronger, that's good, but we definitely need to get rid of the sickness right now. One prayer. Which remains unheard? Why? We do not have a prayer. Eh, we will die. We will surely die. We have no chance to survive this sickness. Hmm. Well. I have no clue what we could do here. No, oh, those guys are too dangerous. We will definitely... Oh, fuck you. Slightly damaged. Ah. Uh, we cannot pray. rocks good knife might be a useful thrown weapon too it's moderately damaged okay we killed him that's nice but this guy got angry as us I think slightly injured Moderately injured. So we need to get to a distance in order to equip a new weapon. We use the crude knife, which will most likely do the most damage. The problem is we will die to whoever hits us and we will also die to whatever fever attack we get and we cannot do anything against it because we cannot reach the healer and we cannot pray either oh white worms fuck you bye two hit points man how much until we get to the next level? 200 more experience points. Okay, we want those 200 experience points and so come on, kill this fucker. Missed. That's it. We just died to a giant frog. Well, Sally, you tried it. You really tried everything you could. <laughs> you were born under an, under an unlucky star. 
I hope you enjoyed the series. It was uh, somehow interesting to play with a uh, horrible character, but uh, I would have loved to survive a little longer. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your support, guys, and uh, see you at whatever will be the next series. Bye, everybody.